Hey there guys, I told you I reviewed here. Got a long awaited video on the 2G jailbreak for the iPod Touch. So here it is, my newly jailbroken iPod Touch 2G. Got Cydia IC and installer. You will then get Cydia with this jailbreak will go in the description and I'll have the sources for Cydia and installer. So yep. I'm going to do this with my brother's iPod because I've already jailbroken with this one. So, and, but I already have jailbroken with this one. But this is just really a spare iPod. It's not my brother's. All right, like that. So this one's also jailbroken. So uh, really, this is mine, but it's still my brother's. So what you want to do is you want to download the Red Snow Beta. And this is beta, so if you don't want to do this, wait for the GUI version. <clears throat> but this one I prefer because you don't have to restore or anything. But you have to download it as a torrent, so I just downloaded a bit torrent as well. So what you want to do is you want to open your the Red Snow. And there it is, you will have the README and the Red Snow. What you want to do is you want to uh, hold down power and the home button for um, 10 seconds. Let go of the uh, power button and continue holding to the home button for another 10 seconds. So let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, there we go, here's the chime. In DFU mode. Now iTunes will pop up saying your iPod is in DFU mode. So just wait for that to pop up. Could take a while. Go on iTunes. Well, I'm going to pause this here, and I'll be right back to you in a second once iTunes does eventually pop up. So guys it hasn't popped up so I'm just going to go into red snow. Now just double tap on that and it will bring up the command prompt and it should say DFU mode successful. There we go. Killing iTunes. Done. And it's waiting for review and you will see the white screen two times. And there we go. Uploading logo and there it is. Downloading jailbreak data. So, yep, it should work. If it doesn't work the first time, do try again because it can get stuck on the waiting for a reboot. That one. So, um, just wait for all this to do its stuff, and as you can see, it is on 40% right now. So, I'll be right back once this is finished uploading the RAM disk. So guys, I am back and it is 95% right now. By the way, these are all, this is 3.0 version. And as you can see, that is done now. And uh, it should say waiting for reboot now. Right now, waiting for reboot, rebooting. So now the little circle will come. And then you can exit out that. But I was just saying, I have downloaded uh, the other IP 
PSW. And this jailbreak works on the 2.2.1. I have the 3.0, 2.2.1, 2.2, .2 and 2.1. So, I tried this the first time and it didn't work. And here you can see it is working now. And, but as I was saying before, uh, I tried this before and it didn't work. So that was bad. It just got stuck on the Apple logo. So I was really, really scared for my iPod, obviously. But um, D7 brought out a video, uh, Dino Zanvaz, that is. Go so check him out. He's an ace guy. He helped me a lot. Um, uh, he sh showed me how to do it, and I did it. I had a vague idea before, but I didn't want to do it. So, as you can see, it's installing bundles. That's like CD, I think. So, um, as you can see, it is done. Near enough. Rebuilding. So, then what will happen is it will go onto the Apple logo as usual, and you will hear a chime when it's like plugged in as usual. But with this now jailbroken, I'll be able to do jail, um, videos on how to do stuff with the jailbreak, like get the iPod's screen on your actual computer screen. That's really good. And you use this program called VNC. So there it is, that's my brother's name, Jono. Exit out that. And as you can see, it is done. So, slide from that. Got a message, but um, there we have it. The jailbroken iPod, it won't look like this, but there it is jailbroken. I see and installer uh, sources in the description. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.